So let's visualize a problem in our weapon clubbing system. All right, let's get to a point where the problem will occur first. So I'm going to go there. And as you can see, when the angle is angling above, then because the rotation is going back down, then it again doesn't hit anything. So it says, okay, go back to where the X rotation was. And then it just keeps on doing this endlessly, causing to this not what not need jitter so we're gonna fix this so let's just start by eating and the game object calling it clip projected bos boss short for copy the component of the center spine and paste it onto the clip projector boss and then go onto the uh well we don't need the head bob script though we just want the fault transform light update turned off copy it and paste it as a child We've got the transform values, you must make sure that's the same. Copy the component just to make sure everything is the same. Then in the play controller, we need to assign the one that we have here. So just pass it in there and the visual as well. So that's cool. Now enable it so that it's just enabled. Save and let's go to the code. Alright, so let's do the code. We're gonna just have to get a reference first. It's like center spine pause. So let's go to our code and say private transform this is going to be for clip projector pos boss to put under the gun holder and then let's go to the play movement and get to the look look function so oh i already have this down here but it's all right yeah so we need to modify the clip projector boss to the extradition just like the center spine but but based on reloading we still want this one to be following our results you see when we're reloading, we are, the weapon actually is supposed to be default to forward. So check if reloading is false. I think that should do. Maybe not. Let me just go ahead and see how it works. Uh, maybe not. Uh, let's, just, let's see what comes out. Let's remove that. Um, I think I'm just going to start better. So let's use the true instead of false. So if is reloading is true, not and then just if we're doing that means that the first thing it has to has to, ha has to happen to zero the clip projector pass is zero and center spine is also zero all right now let's add an else if is clipped is true so this means reloading was not true but clipped is true so extradition yes we want to use for the clip projector and not for the center spine still zero Else, we want to say, all right, all right, okay, this means that both of them are going to use extradition because none of the statements are true. So both can be extradition for us, and that should work. Let's go and check it out. Assign the reference and save the project. Hit the play button. Uh, let's have a look. So if we enable the visual, if I go to the same place, let me look up so if i look up you can see it's still clipping it's still keeping that thing in the same position it doesn't matter where the center spine one because center spine has the cameras camera position if you load it does keep it at the correct point as well that's good you might notice some fast forwarding that's uh, that's what i've done actually so let's clean up our code now it looks slightly junky just gonna use a small function not that much changes it's going to modify both the followers x rotation and slurp them so it's going to take um, three parameters first one is the center spine target x uh flows and this one is also center this one's clip projector target x and let's copy that and paste it in here we take in float slurping speed all right then we can go up Sign extradition, the projector, X, and I think we're done. Now we can use the function. So for both the first top statement, we can pass zero zero and slurping speed. And on the rest two, yes, you can see one of them is extradition. So the center spine is still zero, but extradition is on for the center for the clip projector. And at the last one, we both both of them follow extradition. Speed is always the slurping speed. Now we can just add a bit of a comment. All right. So 
So yep, give me the comment. We can add a summary for this function. All right. Yeah, let's make it a field. Let's come here. Define a uh, slipping speed. Another. Yep, it's got it. Let's delete the local one so that it uses the global one, which is round. And we can rename it to, I think, um, I think rotating slips. And yes, Unity has trashed. Not sure why, of course. But let's continue. So we can set the slipping speed to 15. And let's try it out. So yes, you can see smoothing behavior has changed and increasing this to like 25 or not 100 of course and it's gonna mean I think, I don't think it will be a slip either. So yeah, 25 gives a more hard responsive result. 20 gives pretty okay. So I think I'm gonna go with 20. You can change the sensitivity of course to allow your player to move less and get to more bigger rotation. So now I'm gonna go with 20. And yeah, that's it. Just change it in the script. And we're done. See you in the next one.